Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. And this video is a focus on Middle East seed capital investors, and it is part of a series of investor profiles for my Middle East database, which is going to be available in 2024. Just a bit of information about myself. I'm a fundraising strategist with 15 years of experience in high-end real estate sales and marketing, spanning Canada, Dubai, and the Caribbean. And over the past two years on Fiverr, I've assisted over 200 clients with startup fundraising, pitch deck refinement, investor outreach strategies, and custom investor databases. In addition, I'm an advisor to a New York-based investment company affiliated with a $60 billion fund. The fund focuses on various sectors, particularly income producing real estate, with capital requirements for projects typically ranging from 10 to $20 million. These projects are selected based on their cash flow and growth potential. If you want more information on my services, you can just click my Fiverr link below. So this guide to Middle East Capital includes the following and it is a unique database I've been working on for quite a while. There's over 150 hours devoted specifically for this database and this video series is going to not only include the basics of the database but it's also going to include uh, company profiles in each one. But to start off with it has 325 companies, it has key contacts, the type of business, the sectors of potential investment interests that they have, it has their websites, the company emails at 274 and key contact emails over 470 and it also is unique because it has key outreach strategy points and that's what makes this database very very unique and you're going to see more of it in Excel spreadsheet format a little bit later on in the video and the database of course will be delivered in Excel spreadsheet format. Starting off some key database statistics there's 185 companies that are based in UAE so just a little more than half of them are UAE based 60 companies are based in Saudi Arabia so about 18% and 125 companies are either venture capital, private equity, or angel investor groups. So that makes up about 40% of it. It's the best database for first time fundraising in the Middle East. This video highlights Pico Capital in UAE, and they are one of 325 venture capital, private equity, angel groups, and investment companies in my exclusive Middle East fundraising database. Company Snapshot, they're based in the United Arab Emirates. They're classified as an investment company and a venture capital firm. They focus on technology, fintech, and venture capital. Beagle Capital provides growth capital and hands-on operational support for early stage technology companies. They're one of the largest venture capital firms in Dubai and they have a great track record when it comes to raising funds, not only for their fund, but also for the startup companies. Investor Approach, founded in 2012, Bitco Capital is a pioneering early stage VC firm in the UAE, managing $450 million in assets. They're renowned for early partnerships with major regional success stories, consistently ranking in the top 10% globally. Company expertise, Bitco Capital adopts a founder first, sector agnostic approach, investing in early stage tech companies from seed to series B. The fund's portfolio spans healthcare, education technology, fintech, enterprise technology, and SAS, e-commerce, e-commerce enablers, and marketplaces. Geographic reach, while Beco primarily focuses on opportunities in the Middle East, its outlook is not bound by geographical constraints. The fund remains open to exceptional opportunities beyond regional borders, embracing a global perspective in the pursuit of unique ventures. Here are some of the previous funds that they've raised, uh, $50 million in 2015, 100 million in 2018, and 210 in 2020. So this is a firm that has a large amount of assets to be able to use to fund startups. And here are some of their previous investments.
potential investment opportunities to approach them with. And you're going to see in my Excel spreadsheet a little bit later on in this video where I have actually pre prepared this exercise for all 325 of the companies. I have basically looked at their websites. I've looked at their previous history. I've looked at their press releases. I've looked at other groups in their same sector. And I've given three opportunities that you may be able to approach this group with investment opportunities. Now that does not mean that they're ready to invest in that today or tomorrow. It just means that in the past, given their past investment patterns and their existing philosophy, you might want to propose the following investment opportunities to a group like Bitco Capital. One, healthcare. Two, technology, financial services, and fintech. In fact, it's even broader for this group because they're one of the larger players in Dubai and or UAE in specific uh, so but that gives you a good general outlook of some of the main companies that they've funded in the past one of the key benefits of my database is that it includes tips for investor outreach and you're going to see this for all 325 companies uh, just a little bit further on here coming up uh, where you see the spreadsheet uh, part of the presentation so I actually have created this database for people who are doing their first Dad, their first fundraising in the Middle East. It's, it's difficult to reach out to key people in the Middle East. It's, everything's not as transparent and the contacts are not as public as you may see in uh, other markets. Uh, so this database is specifically made for people who are going to be building their first database. I've worked on this for a long, long time. You're going to see that, in that a little bit further on the presentation. So key outreach touch points, if you know who the direct contact is, and in many cases in my database, it has a lot of contacts, CEOs, chairmen, founders, and it also has uh, what I would call lower level uh, contacts, such as associates, investment advisors, and directors. But these are the type of people you should be contacting first. For example, uh, part of your email could include understanding Beacon Capital's passion for tech entrepreneurship. Our initiative matches the companies in your portfolio. So when they receive that email, they're going to know that it's not a spam. So many people use these type of databases to spam uh, pitch decks, spam investment presentations uh, uh, for all kinds of opportunities. And that's not what you should do with any database and definitely not for the Middle East. Because if you send this to the chairman or the CEO that's listed in my database, the odds are they're going to do one of two things. They're going to delete it because they don't know you. And, or two, they're going to kick it down to somebody Again, at an associate level, investment advisor level, maybe a director level. So you may as well build those relationships first before you move up the ladder. Because the people at the associate, investment advisor, director, even the vice president level, their job is to review presentations uh, and, and, and you know they have to write reports on these to their, to their chairmen and their CEOs every single month. So their job is to vet these. So if you go over their head, you're not going to gain any relationship with them and you want to build a relationship with them. Now, if you don't know who the contact is, then you could use the approach like this. For example, you could use a subject heading collaborative ventures with Beco Capital. That could be your subject on your email. And then your key initial email approach line may include, we have a proposal we believe could resonate with Beco Capital's vision. Who would be our touch point at your firm? So now if you send that to their info at address or their admin at address or their HR address, and I've got a large amount of HR uh, contacts in this database, I specifically put them in there for you to do this. And if you, somebody in HR receives that email, they're going to do one of two things. They're going to send you back a note saying you contact so and so. Here's their email address, or they're going to direct. Uh, they're going to forward that to the party that is best uh, suited to handle it. So that's in-house accountability as well, because if, if they've sent that to an associate or an investment advisor. Well, the good news is that person's going to follow up on it because they do not want to ever hear back that that whoever sent that presentation has sent it somehow it gets to the chairman and they say, hey, I like this presentation. How come we never saw it before? So these are key things and the key strategies. You want to build relationships in the Middle East. Again, create a database of the key contacts, and that's what I've done here for you to start off with. You want to explore the focus of the company, but most of all, you want to understand their internal process of how they handle presentations. It's really, really key to handle that. These people at the associate level, investment advisor, direct level, they're going to help you understand deals they're working on because uh, they, they're easy to communicate with. That's their job. Uh, and you're going to get a lot of information from them, which may help you 
po propose other opportunities to them. Now, when I was working in the Middle East, I helped develop our company's database using these exact strategies. Now, we were working on behalf of ultra high net worth individuals and groups. And again, ultra high net worth. So that's a different level. Of, and, you know, we were working in a large advisory firm and a large amount of our uh, opportunities were a real estate assets anywhere from fifty million dollars to two hundred and fifty million dollars so we didn't handle the small stuff we handled hotels land development commercial offices not only in the UAE but on a global basis so it's really important that you build the relationships in the right way it's really going to help you for your fundraising efforts in the Middle East this is the type of seed capital and angel group you can find in my exclusive guide to Middle East Capital. I created this exclusive database to help founders reach out to seed and angel investors with confidence. There is no other resource like it, period. And you can also check my ultimate guide to raising startup capital with over 140 pages suitable for people who are doing first time fundraising. That's something else that you can find on my Fiverr profile. So let's take a look at the database. So now we're over on the database section and this is the Excel spreadsheet that includes all the contacts in the Middle East Capital Database. And as you can see on the very top, we've got 325 companies. Uh, we have their country, description of the firm, their main business interests, their websites, and they've all been verified. Uh, and of course, this database will be suitable for all of 2024. I also have included their investment targets, uh, one and two and three. So those are based on uh, information that is publicly known, information that is on their websites of different investments and types of sectors that they will look at. So again, this database is really meant for people who are building a larger data set of Middle East companies to either uh, approach for funding or to possibly promote their products to because there's a blend of venture capital, private equity, family investment offices, and investment companies, and high-profile companies in the UAE that are led by UAE National. So it's a really great database for companies that really want to get a very good look at some of the key parties in the Middle East when it comes to raising capital. It also has their investment territory, uh, which includes whether they're just looking at either the Middle East or whether they're looking MENA or whether they're looking global. I've also included their key real estate assets. If they're investment companies that tend to look at real estate, I've included those as well in this database. Now, it also has as far as key touch points, uh, it has their company emails and in some cases it's not available because they want you to actually submit your details via their forum. Uh, but I'll get to the key stats a little bit later on. You also saw that in the initial uh, slide presentation. Telephone numbers and contact numbers, there are two what I call primary contacts and then there's a third which is the secondary contacts. The key contacts could include CEOs, managing directors, executive directors, and that is the same with the secondary, uh, second contact title. You can see operations manager, directors of real estate, presidents, and so on and so on. And the main reason for that is so that you have a senior contact that you can reach out to. You can also check them on LinkedIn to get more details. Uh, in many cases, their email addresses have already been included, and I'm going to get to that again when we go to the stats page. And the third email contact tends to be somebody in HR. And the reason I've done that is because this database is very unique in the fact that I include outreach approach tips for each of these firms. Uh, there are two types. One is a outreach uh, touch point if you know who the contact is. In other words, if it's been already identified by myself, then you could uh, send them a line that I've included here in all the con companies. Uh, for example, Saudi has a strong track record in urban development in Kuwait. Would you be interested in new unique investment opportunity that complements your portfolio. And the reason I include these is to help people write their first letters and also to show you that you should not be spamming this type of list with just a generic email approach. Uh, 
uh, talking about your company and the investment opportunity this allows you to add a little bit of information about them so whoever receives it is going to know that you did a little bit of work and that it should not be considered a spam and the second reason here is I've got contact sourcing outreach approach and this is if you do not know who the contact is and this is really key because in some cases you may not have a contact and this is the perfect way for you to introduce yourself for example in this case I put subject request for direct contact with investment division uh, and then as the body of the, the email I'll make include I believe you might be the right person to assist me we're exploring potential investment opportunities that align with Salia's investments vision could you direct us to the person or team responsible for evaluating such opportunities and you can see as I scroll down here it is included in that type of line they're all customized of course uh, the same with the ones for the direct contacts that are known they actually talk about something the company has done something they've invested in the sectors uh, or possibly what their company uh, vision is and this is really going to help you especially if you're doing first-time fundraising or if you just want to save time when it comes to your research for these type of firms that's what makes this database unique another thing that makes it unique is it really sticks to mainly uh, the type of companies that are either venture capital private equity uh, investment companies uh, so there's no fluff in here there's no companies in here that are should not be in here and that is the difference between this database and other databases they wrote there uh, that talk about investments and reaching out to uh, other investors for example there's very little here when it comes to accelerators there might be a couple of them but it's not plugged full of what I would call just garbage contacts these are really key companies that are perfect for reaching out to whether you're raising funds or whether you want to present opportunities whether it's real estate investment opportunities and the like so let's take a look at some of the stats so the underlying stats are there's 470 firms 340 prime contacts 90 third tier contacts uh, and 90 email contacts when it comes to the third tier so you're getting about 400 and a little over 450 uh, emails and the total company emails are 275 so those would be info at admin at that sort so that's a really key overview of the database again this is going to be a series where I'm going to highlight each of the contacts but if you're interested in this particular database just reach out to me on my Fiverr profile below my master database includes 400,000 verified global contacts that includes angel investors, family investment offices, pension funds, hedge funds, private equity databases, REITs, Middle East premium high net worth and ultra high net worth investors database, venture capital lists and investment banks. I also have clients with pitch deck reviews and corporate fundraising presentations. If you're just getting ready to send your presentation out to an investor, send it to me. I have a service on Fiverr where I will review it for you. Approximately 80% of the presentations that I get sent are not suitable to be sent out to investors. For more information on my databases and fundraising services, click my Fiverr link below. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe.